All right, week 11, college football breakdown here. Good primetime battle in the ACC. We got North Carolina traveling to Wake Forest. Seeing the Demon Deacons is a short three-and-a-half-point favorite at home. Uh, highest total on the board here on Saturday, 77. Um, we'll get to that in a sec. Uh, I have made a play on this game, and it's not on the total. I'm, I'm going to address that, but I faded Wake Forest a lot this year uh, to varying degrees of success. I faded them last week. They lost by nine at NC State is a four point favorite. We cashed on that. I like them in this matchup. Let's lay the three and a half with the Demon Deacons at home. Right off the bat, I don't really like this spot for North Carolina. A second straight road game. They uh, were, I don't want to say they were lucky to win at Virginia last week, but that game was closer than the odds makers thought it would be. Virginia has been an incompetent offense all year, uh, and they actually look pretty good over 400 yards. Um, pretty balanced attack against this North Carolina defense. And that's really where it starts and ends for me in this matchup. I think a lot of people perceive, I mean, we, we all know, uh, and the total at 77 tells you, these are two, these are two good offenses, uh, but I think a lot of people think each of these defenses is bad. Uh, one is, and one is a dumpster fire, that is North Carolina, uh, and Wake Forest's defense is nowhere near as bad as people think. North Carolina is 118th uh, in defensive FEI, which is an analytic that a lot of people use to power rate defenses. There's 131 teams in college football. This is a dumpster fire of a defense, and you know, the results kind of speak for themselves. Gave up 61 against Appalachian State, 45 against Notre Dame. But Miami put up only 24 points, but Tyler Van Dyke threw for almost 500 yards in that game. I think it was 496. Uh, that's concerning, particularly in a matchup like this. And as I mentioned, uh, I, I thought Virginia had maybe their best game of the season offensively last week against this Tar Heels defense. They do nothing well. Uh, they're bailed out by the fact they have a superstar quarterback in Drake May. It should be one of the biggest stories in the country that with a defense this bad, North Carolina's 8-1, uh, I, I think it's going to come down bursting into flames, perhaps in a big way in this matchup. I mean, Sam Hartman is a tenured guy at Wake Forest. Uh, he's been there five years at this point, played a lot of football. He's having a pretty good year, 8.8 .8 yards per attempt, almost a 3-1 to touchdown to interception ratio. They throw the ball a lot. I mean, they got four separate receivers that are over 25 catches this year. Uh, one thing I like, all four of those guys are over 14 yards per reception. So this is a team that it's not just dink and dunk. This team is, is aggressive in their passing game. And uh, in this particular matchup, I think that's going to lead to a lot of success. I'll concede that uh, Wake Forest is not a balanced attack. I think they're extremely mediocre in the run game. I don't really think their offensive line is all that good. But um, we have to contextualize the matchup they're in here. North Carolina does not get pressure on the quarterback. Secondary is extremely vulnerable, and they haven't stopped the run as well as I, maybe I thought they would coming into the year. Uh, that doesn't matter as much for this matchup because Wake Forest is going to you know, try to beat you through the air primarily. Let's talk about Drake May. Drake May has been terrific for North Carolina this year. You know, Over 70% completion, 9.5 yards per attempt, over a 10-to-1 touchdown-to-interception ratio. Uh, he's been fantastic. He's the only reason why North Carolina is 8-1 and one at this point. I just don't think it's sustainable. You know, he's also their leading rusher, too. He, he doesn't have that much hope around him. I mean, uh, it's really kind of been running back roulette for Mac Brown this year. They've had tons of injuries at that position. That's still the case here. Hood might not go in this game. They, they lost a guy preseason. It's just kind of been a mess in that running back room. He's having a shoulder so much of the load that as you get deeper into the season, game nine, game 10, game 11, I know he's been good. I'm not willing to concede that he's going to just come out and light this Wake Forest defense up. I mean, I wouldn't say Wake Forest defense is good by any means, but for reference, as I said, North Carolina is 118th in defensive FEI. Wake Forest is in the 50s in that category. So you're talking about a pretty seismic step up. What do we also know about North Carolina? They really struggle to protect the quarterback. That was an issue for them last year. If you want to know how you go 6-7 and seven with Sam Howell as your starting quarterback, be as bad as you were on the offensive line last year. Six separate games that, that they've allowed three or more sacks. Uh, so I don't like that in this matchup. It really just comes down to as well. You're talking about one of the most experienced teams in college football against a North Carolina team that, you know, Mac Brown entering the season said, I've never had more question marks about a team than I do about this 2022 North Carolina football roster. It's still a first-year quarterback. They're still relying on a lot of young guys at a lot of key positions. It's your second straight road game. I really like this spot for Wake Forest, and North Carolina will not continue to get away with having a porous defense the way they have this year. It's over a pass for me, obviously, but I don't really want to get involved with that. I'm on the Demon Deacons officially as a one-unit play here at the three and a half. All right, guys, before we get out of here, I know you see this quarter zip right here. Head over to Proud90.com. 
for all your golf apparel needs. With the colder weather now here, they got a great selection of hoodies and quarter zips for you. If you've watched the channel, you've seen me rocking the polos here all throughout football season. Browse their selection. If you see anything you like at checkout, use code Fordham. It's going to get you 15% off your entire order. That's code Fordham at checkout. It's going to get you 15% off your order. Support me. Support Proud90. Proud90.com.